guys, I am Ashley with Lavish Grace Photography. I've been a portrait photographer for 12 years now and today I want to talk about reflectors and why you should be using one at every photo shoot. I carry a reflector with me to every single photo shoot now, whether it is a high school senior and it's just one person or a family. I always have it with me so I can pop it out and use it whenever I need to. So today I'm going to cover why you should be using a reflector. Um, how to use a reflector without an assistant, show you how diverse of a tool it can be for a photographer who shoots in natural light. It can be great for studio light as well, but I'm specifically talking about out on location using natural light, why you should be carrying a reflector around. I have some clips and footage of me shooting with the reflector and I have some sample photos of photo taken without the reflector and then with the reflector and then just a bunch of pictures of me using the reflector so you can see how I personally hold it and use it without having an assistant there. I think a lot of photographers don't think they can use a reflector effectively without having an assistant. Um, there are definitely situations where it helps to have somebody hold it but that doesn't mean that you can't use a reflector on your own while you're shooting. Um, and even sometimes I have a parent, if I'm taking senior photos, hold it in a certain spot. So it doesn't have to be somebody who knows what they're doing. But for the most part, I hold the reflector myself and I will show you exactly how I do this. But a reflector can be an effective tool whether it is sunny or whether it is cloudy. I know that when it's cloudy, um, a lot of people think, well, I can just shoot anywhere. And you can do have more options when it's cloudy. But when it's cloudy, there are still, when you're facing certain directions or there's tree cover, there are still some pretty harsh shadows, which a reflector can be helpful, especially if you are getting a headshot and you have the reflector pretty close. It can completely change the lighting of your photo. So I'm gonna show you some footage right here of me using reflectors in different situations. Obviously when it's sunny is a beautiful time to use a reflector because so much light can bounce off of it. It can almost be too bright even, especially if you use a silver side. I normally stick to the white so it's beautiful clean light, but you can switch to the silver side, especially when it's cloudy, to amp up the um, use of the reflector. Now the one that I have, unfortunately, um, so you can switch them out. They have gold, black, silver, and white. The one that I have is white on one side and gold on the other. The first reflector I had was white and silver and then black and gold. So I could just switch from black, uh, from white to silver very easily. Uh, this one I can't. I would have to take it off, reverse it, and switch it. So I stick to the white only because of that reason. But if the silver was on the opposite side, I would use the silver a lot more often. I don't like using the gold. Very, very rarely I will use the gold. But I stick to the white. So this is the one that I currently have. Um, this is my third one. They do tend to get dirty over the years and um, get dull. This one is pretty new. I bought this one in an emergency situation. I went to Best Buy and picked up the last one that they had. And let's see, this is a 42 inch, 
42 inch reflector and this is 40 bucks on Best Buy. But I've gotten some on Amazon, $33 was the last one I got. But I like having this size, nice and big, easy to fold up. This is the one I have, just for reference. So it is amazing the difference that it makes having light bounce back up. Uh, again, I'm gonna kind of show you how I hold it. Um, sometimes I'm like holding it out. Sometimes I prop it up against something or lean it on my leg, um, but there are different ways of getting it where you need it to bounce some light into your subject's eyes. Why would I take it to a family session? A lot of times when I do families, I do individuals as well. So during the individuals, I will use them, but also, one thing that a lot of people don't think of that you can use your reflector for is to put down on the ground in front of your subject. If I have a family standing in, a, in some grass, the grass is gonna cause a green color cast onto the face. So the sun is bouncing off of the green surface and into the face. And so you're gonna have a green color cast. If you put a large white reflector on the ground in front of the group, that will bounce white clean light instead of green light onto their face. So a lot of times I'm not even like holding it up close or holding it to bounce light back on their face. A lot of times I use it to eliminate some color cast that I have. So even if you're standing next to an orange brick wall, you can put it over the wall so light is not bouncing orange onto their face. So that is one huge thing that a reflector can do that a lot of people don't even think about or kind of pass over. So even if you aren't holding it to get light into your client's face, it has other uses. So use your reflector in multiple ways. So using a reflector also allows me to shoot in spots that I wouldn't normally shoot in. So say there's a spot that has a little bit too much shadows under the eyes or just light isn't as even as I would like, but the spot is beautiful. Pop out my reflector, hold it out, and I can use that spot. So I'm not, not as limited to my locations that I put my clients because I have my reflector with me. And again, it doesn't help to have your reflector in your car. It doesn't help to have it zipped up in a bag. Have it out, carry it with you. A lot of times I open mine and stick it under my arm and walk around with it. Like that way you can just pull it out, have it there, put it on the ground, that it, it will get dirty if you use it like this. But again, every few years I buy a new one, it's 40 bucks, it's not a big deal. I've been doing this for 12 years and I have, I'm on my third one. So not, not a huge deal for me. Uh, get it out, use it, get it dirty, totally fine. All right, so I wanna show you the power of the reflector. Let's look at some before and after photos. Um, a lot of these photos that I've taken are just showing you what it looks like with a reflector. Um, so you can see that beautiful even light. But I wanna show you, I recently took some at a photographer shootout I did before the reflector and after, after the reflector so you can see the difference. And this was a super cloudy day. So I wanted to show you even on a cloudy day, a reflector is an asset. It is something that you should be using, utilizing, get your reflector out and use it. It is a cold icy day here. So Lincoln is home with me. We are all stuck at home. So Lincoln is helping me today, aren't you? All right, so I wanted this video to be nice, short, sweet, just show you how to use your, your reflector, why you should use it, and yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Is that all, Lincoln? Use it in the clouds, use it in the sun, use it for your family shoots. Just keep it with you. You never know when it will come in handy. Avoid those color casts. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Let me know in the comments below how you use your reflector. Um, and also, I would like to know if you've never used one because I know some photographers haven't, but let me know um, what your thoughts are on the reflector. And that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and wanna see future videos, hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. You're so cute. I'm almost done with this. Did you come help me? Did you come to help mama? Did you know you're adorable? Yeah. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for this. Lincoln, you're making the chair squeak. Lincoln, can you say bye? Bye. Bye-bye. I love you.